In this video workshop series, I'm going to teach you the secrets to great soldering. I'm going to give you the preview right now, and we're going to see this over and over again in all the examples we look at. Regardless of whether we're doing leaded solder or lead free solder, the techniques are exactly the same. The only difference is the temperature range we're going to be working with. If it's leaded solder, melts at a lower temperature, soldering iron tip should be about 500 degrees to 550 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you're using lead free, start at around 600 degrees Fahrenheit. And in some applications, as we'll see, you may want to go up to 650 or even 700 degrees Fahrenheit. Everything about a good solder joint is based on three important principles. The first is a good temperature for the soldering iron. I'll tell you what that is. A clean tip. And by clean, I mean ox tin oxide free. Tin oxide is the number one limitation to the quality of a good solder joint. To get a better solder joint, you want to remove the tin oxide from the soldering iron and from all the surfaces. And the way we do that is with the third tip and that's using solder flux. Solder flux is typically an acid or some other organic chemical that dissolves tin oxide. Generally, you have to get it hot in order for the uh, flux to dissolve the tin oxide, and that's where the good temperature comes in. You want a soldering iron tip temperature that is high enough to melt the solder, high enough to provide enough thermal transfer to the component to heat it up to melt the solder, but not so high as to generate more tin oxide on the either the tip of the soldering iron or on your component and not so high that it quickly evaporates or vaporizes the flux. We want it hot enough to melt the solder but cool enough to leave the solder flux on the part long enough to dissolve the tin oxide, make a oxide free surface and the solder will naturally wet those surfaces then. That is the secret to doing good soldering. And I'm going to show you each step along the way in all these examples. We're going to be using the same thing over and over again. The secret ingredient, this is it's almost like magic, is the use of solder flux. If you're currently not using solder flux, you're making bad solder joints. And if you want to show really good solder joints reproducibly all the time, even for small leads, solder flux is your friend. And the rule that you're going to see over and over again is you can never use too much solder flux. You can always wash it off with water after you're done, so don't worry about contaminating your board. Okay, so let's begin. We'll look, look at a number of examples of applying these three secrets to good soldering to a number of examples.